This is my uh, review of the Philips Norelco Shaver 1100. It's pretty much the the cheapest uh, rotary razor you can find. I'm not a big fan of rotary, rotary razors, so I think I'm a good one to test these out. Pretty much just comes with the cord and uh, a cover for the uh, uh, blades and the instruction booklet. It does say to uh, move the shaver in circular motions over your skin and catch hair growing in all directions. Uh, stretch your skin with your free hand so blades can lift and cut the hair. Do not press too hard as too much pressure can pinch the skin. So I just want to see how a uh, cheap razor holds up against uh, other more expensive ones. So on to the live shave. Okay, here we go with the live shave. As you can see, I'm trying to pull my skin tight like it said in the uh, manual and uh, I am going in circular motions and not trying to push too hard. It's a surprisingly close shave so far, so I am pretty impressed for the price. Looks like to clean it you just push this button, there's hardly anything in there yet, it actually just folds up. So that's pretty convenient. It actually did a very good job, got a pretty close shave. You're never going to get as close of a shave as you do with the razor, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side of my face, and just out of curiosity, I'm going to use my tinfoil razor and just compare it to the uh, rotary razor. This is my uh, Panasonic Arc 5. You can see the rotary razor. This one's a chargeable one. 
Um, it's a little bit pricier than the, the cheap rotary razor. You can tell the difference. These rotate in circles. That's why they're called rotary razors. I'm not a big fan of them, but that one really surprised me. This one's called the foil razor. I like these because you get a closer shave. Cleaning it out real quick. Um, this one does seem way faster, so get what you pay for, I guess. There you go, I'm pretty much done. I guess you can tell the main difference is just the speed. Uh, like I said, you get what you pay for. I like rotary razors better, they get a closer shave. I still use the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power. I think I still have it down here. Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power. It's got like five razors and uh, I also have the uh, Gillette Exfoliating Bar, just cause uh, Razors are flexible and they're so sharp, I'm still using that one a lot. So I definitely recommend those two. But as far as the uh, the Philips Norelco Series 1000, uh, if you're gonna buy a rotary razor, it's definitely worth buying. Uh, one complaint with the uh, foil razors is <clears throat> ingrown hairs, but uh, I think they make special uh, aftershave for that to keep that from happening, so. Um, like I said, you're never going to beat a straight razor. I like foil razors better by far. This one was way faster. I just think they're way faster if you get a good tin foil razor. But if you are going to buy a rotary razor, uh, this one's definitely worth the money. It shaves as good as the expensive ones I've used. I've tried out probably 50 razors by now. So there you go. That's my verdict. Okay, so I looked the two shavers up on Amazon. I think I said the wrong one earlier. I have the Panasonic Arc 3, not Arc 5. But anyways, it's $69.99 on uh, Amazon. Right now, at least. And so it's going to cost you 40 more bucks than the Philips Norelco Shaver 1100. But like I said, this one surprised me. I mean, I would buy this one if I was going to buy a rotary shaver. But... I do like my Panasonic Arc 3 quite a bit, so, but uh, I'm, I have to shave every day no matter what, I'm one of those guys that gets a really thick stubble, so, but there, there you have it, um, the uh, Philips Norelco Shaver 1100 is definitely a safe buy.